All right, Google, show me ladies and girls kissing. <laughs> Search. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, no. Uh. Um, I, I think my Twitter may have been hacked. Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. It's me, Oz. And today we got a new one. It's boomers being fools. And the point of this subreddit is not to laugh at boomers as a whole, but laugh at the ones that make boomers look bad. With that being said, here's some disclaimers. Some nice tasty disclaimers being served up for you. Ahem. How do you delete someone off Facebook from school that you do not like? <laughs> Hi, Edith. Facebook Patrol here. To answer your question about deleting someone from Facebook that you do not like, simply click reply beneath my comment. Then type the at sign and start by writing the person's name that you want to delete. Their name should appear, so click it. Once you're done, their name should come up in blue. And once you've done that, press enter. You will then be given the option whether you want to delete this person for a few days or even permanently. Thanks, Edith. Let me know if you have any other questions. Signed, Facebook Patrol. Finally! Dorothy Adams! <laughs> Hi, Edith. How are the kids? All these liberals out here complaining. <laughs> when there's no excuse to be poor in this country. Especially when you got the wild, wild nugget! Yeah! Mains out here in front of the boomer gooner. <laughs> oh god, I just said that. Uh. <laughs> no, but seriously, have you guys seen these fucking gooning machines they have in like, you know, casinos and in some airports? It's. <laughs> Look at this. It can always turn around. Actually, really sad. Anyways. No excuse to be poor when you could hop up on your boomer gooner and get right at it. Whenever I interview anyone now, I leave this display of my 98% IQ score facing them from my desk. The look on their face when they notice it and realize I can't be manipulated into paying a living wage is hilarious. You might be thinking, oh, he means 98 percentile, right? Right? <laughs> Wrong. My man is out here proudly displaying that he has a below average IQ score. My man, that does, that does not mean what you think it means. Five stars, excellent food. Love this place. And then, then we got Clara down here. I have never been at that restaurant, Google. One star. <laughs> I, <laughs> what I imagine happened was there was a prompt that said add photo <laughs> it's supposed to be at the restaurant, but <laughs> oh, oh, Clara. Gotta upload a picture of myself for the review. <laughs> Don't know why they need that. <laughs> oh, this is probably going to be me using the internet one day. Oh, God. When I was a kid, we didn't have any fancy body wash. We all had to use the same bar of soap our dad washed his ass with. And if we swore, we got our mouths washed out with the same bar of soap. Thank you for sharing and for also uh, bragging, I guess, that you had a bar of ass soap in your mouth. That's, it's pretty poggers, I guess. I just want to come out and say this to all you liberal Zoomers. Boomer is the N-word of ageism. Being hip and flip does not make bigotry okay, nor is it derisive, epithet, acceptable because it's new. Hey, Bob. Saying your generation's official name is the equivalent of the most heinous racial slur in America is some real boomer sh**. <sighs> Forcing students to do Muslim prayers five times a day. Time to revoke funding. Retweet. Oh no. See? Look. This is what decades of rejecting Jesus Christ has done to this nation. The children are worshipping Satan. Uh, 
you, you know, you know, you guys have the same God, right? But that doesn't matter b because it's, it's a tornado drill. Harley Davidson is closing many of its plants due to declining sales. Apparently, the baby boomers all have motorcycles, and Generation X is only buying a very few. And the next generation, the millennials, aren't buying any at all. Where the hell do you millennials get all the shit? Good God. They hate you. <laughs> aren't they your parents? Oh. A recent study was conducted to find out why. Here are the reasons why millennials don't ride motorcycles and why sales are down. 1. Pants won't pull up far enough for them to straddle the seat. 2. Can't get their phone to their ear with a helmet on. 3. Can't use two hands to eat while driving. 4. They don't get a trophy and a recognition plaque just for buying one. 5. Don't have enough muscle to hold the bike up when stopped. Six, might have a bug hit them in the face and they would need emergency care. Seven, motorcycles don't have air conditioning. Eight, they can't afford one because they spent 12 years in college trying to get a degree in humanities, social studies, or gender studies for which no jobs are available. Nine, they're allergic to fresh air. 10, their pajamas get caught on the exhaust pipes. It's that's weirdly specific. 11. They might get their hands dirty checking the oil. 12. The handlebars have buttons and levers and cannot be controlled by touchscreen. And 13. You have to shift manually and use something called a clutch. The man is out here fighting ghosts. Uh, the real reason why Harley sales are down is because no one wants a Harley. That's, that's it. There are other bikes with better value and better performance, and why would you want a Harley? Especially when this is how other Harley riders are going to treat you. Like, come on. So, shout out to Blank's most selfish couple. Someone was having a heart attack at Roma's, and the server was helping the man out. And this couple started complaining their food was not being served to them immediately. I, I just... Oh my god! Are they wearing pajamas in a restaurant? Oh, God. My Suburban loves it when I park it in an EV charging station. How could I possibly deny that joy to a vehicle that's just been so good to me? <laughs> Look at it. Oh, God. Those liberal tears. Hey, what do you mean, parking ticket? What? One of these days, it will bite them in the ass, and when that day comes, oh god, it'll be great, but until then, they're just gonna be an asshole who can't even park properly. Look how much room you still have, and not to mention how much of your rear bumper is just hanging out in the middle of the road. You're being a dick on two fronts with this. Also, just to tell you how much of a goober this man is, I'm the one who censored his full name and license plate, which means if anyone wanted to, I don't know, retroactively ticket him. He uploaded the evidence. Texas Patriots for secession. Hey, if, if we secede, do, do we still get our social security monthly checks? <laughs> no. If you secede, you're no longer a beneficiary of the United States government. That's, that's why you're seceding, right? And also, did you just say social security? That sounds like socialist security. What, are you going to tell me that the government's just handing out free money to people who aren't working? Is that what you're telling me? Sounds like a bunch of socialist liberal nonsense to me. Yeah, maybe you... <laughs> I'll stop right there. God, these Zoomers these days. Can you imagine today's youth storming the beaches of Normandy? I, honestly, I, I can't even imagine today's boomers doing it. All y'all do is buy commemorative Trump teddy bears and post how to open PDF as a Facebook status. Ever hear of the Vietnam War? No, I, I, I don't think I, I have heard of that one, but just out of curiosity, if you could maybe refresh my memory. Who won? I, I just think Space Force is about exploring and finding out what's out there. But... But NASA does space exploration. NASA is only going to tell us what they want us to know. Whereas I think Trump will send his own stuff. And we will find out the truth. Great value Marjorie Taylor Greene. I have news for you. 
NASA is a government-funded agency, which is in part controlled by the president. Much like how Space Force is a government-funded branch of the military, which is in part controlled by the executive branch. Small coffee, five dollars. Small coffee, please. Three dollars. Hello, one small coffee, please. Dollar seventy-five. <sighs> I'm not saying please to someone below me. And uh, judging by this comment, there is literally nobody below you. Ever. If you don't get it, they're making fun of the fact that he's probably very lonely. Careful, ladies. <laughs> I, I can't even do that with a straight face. It's gonna be like, just, careful, ladies, this one, this next post, I don't even know what I was gonna say, because I can see what's in front of me, and you can't. Anyways, prepare for nightmare. If I charge, follow me. If I retreat, kill me. If I die, avenge me. This is the code I live by. If you have a problem with it, unfollow me. Every enemy's worst fear, every daughter's wet dream. <laughs> ah! Oh, God. From cradle to the grave, I'm a living knife. <laughs> you are, but not in the way you think. I'm a United States Marine. <laughs> this, this, this shirtless photo down here. That, if I have to see this, you do too. Boomer parents. One day, this will all be ours. Grown children. I no. What a bunch of ungrateful whiny ass fuck. Enjoy your tattooed, pierced-up lives, not knowing what the fuck you are today or what you're gonna be tomorrow. Our generation, wrong I, worked hard and played hard, and lots of us are still living just like that. So go piss and moan some more about your butt hurting over some trivial sh** you saw on social media. Middle finger emoji. Ah, yes. Not getting your butt hurt over trivial sh** you saw on social media, huh? I was honored to get my parents' dishes. Granted, I still use them myself, and I take care of them. <sighs> some of that stuff is beautiful. Things of beauty are not useless. They made somebody happy. They made your mom or grandmother happy. You keeping at least some, or all of those things, because that means you're holding on to their happiness for the rest of your life. Their... their... their dishes. Yeah, it's... That's just the mentality of our kids described perfectly. They have so much useless crap that they have zero appreciation for family heirlooms. Hell, a lot of them could care less about their parents' health and just stop talking to them because their selfishness is more important than anything. And that mentality has been put in their heads over the years by liberals and celebrities. Bravo, America! This nation's future is doomed! because they won't take my dishes. And the idiot who was placed in- Why did he censor idiot? <laughs> who was placed in the White House by the biggest scam ever inflicted on the USA, mail-in voting, is allowing our country to be invaded by third world baby- Jesus fucking Christ, oh my- It's their dishes! <laughs> Almost funny. Not really. Okay, millennials, go ahead and throw away treasures, many of which are rare. Some of these useless things were investments. Whenever your mom purchased them, she knew that they would be more valuable in the future. Okay. Yeah, but mama didn't want all your junk between the years at university, the many moves, the baby stuff. The baby stuff? All that junk you stored at my place promising to come get it tomorrow, you got two choices. You get your junk now, or I wrap it up beautifully and give it back to you for Christmas. Then, the cost of holding all your junk for all these years is for you to get it all back when I die. Plus mine. Tag, you're it. Remember, all of this started because of this here. Just saying they don't... They don't want all your porcelain dishes. One of, uh... One of these engagement scams 
Hey, Facebook, as some of you may know, I'm Bill Gates. <laughs> you are Steve Jobs. If you click the share link, I'll give you $5,000. It's about time I give back to the people. Yep. You think there's a reason why the text isn't concave to the paper and why it's crooked, or... You know, uh, it doesn't even matter. Click share ages ago and nothing. Load of shit. He's, uh, for those of you who, actually these are starting to like pop back up again, but... Once upon a time, Facebook was 90% images that was just like for Jesus, ignore for Satan. And that was, that was all of Facebook. Forever. My favorite thing about OK Boomer is that instead of arguing, the youth unconsciously and collectively decided to literally just verbally wave boomers off and treat them like children who won't shut up. And I think that's beautiful. It's honestly great to see kids realize that nothing upsets boomers like dismissing them the way they dismiss anyone younger than themselves. And there you go! That's why we're doing this, because it pisses them off! Hey, you made it to the outro! As a quick announcement, just for the sake of the algorithm, I'm gonna be migrating a vast majority of my streams to my second channel, Oz Vault, so if you are a frequent watcher of my streams, then that's where they'll be held, except for like, once a month when I do a big stream on here. And uh, yeah, anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other videos, because I'm uploading again, woo!